Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now, just as America does pickup trucks, Europe does the hatchback and the same way Japan does minivan. So in today's video, I'm going to be explaining you all the Honda Odyssey and we are going to be checking out the exteriors, the interiors and also we'll be going on a short drive. Well, starting off from the front, so you get this big chrome grill along with the normal plastic grill which has been merged together to give you this this roundish sort of uh, grill in the front and then these uh, headlight cluster is a complete led headlight cluster along with the drls at the bottom also you would get the fog lamps which are again led fog lamps and then there is this meshed grill which goes all the way from the center and on to both the sides but again that is given in a sort of silverish color get the sliding doors for the rear passengers and just the coolest bit now this door can be opened so like in multiple ways so there's this handle with which you can just uh, you know pull it and then open the door there is also button out here with which you can open or close from inside there's also a lever out here like you can just pull that again and then close the door and through the remote control also you can press and open the doors now that is just for the rear passengers but if the driver wants to remotely like open or close the door then there are two buttons out there for the left and the right door so using that you can open the doors now apart from that like just look at the length of this uh, the Odessi. So it's approximately 5,193 millimeters. So that is roughly 5.2 meters of worth of a car that you get now. And look how low it is sitting because it's a minivan. Continuing in the front, you get 19 inch alloy rims and this side turning signal. And the, these are like power foldable mirrors, but they have a blind spot warning but then the blind spot warning is somewhere out here now that's a bit of a distraction maybe while driving because it was better if it was just you know incorporated into the side mirror but nonetheless it's still given and that is pretty cool you get this chrome strip that continues all the way till back and you can see this this uh, line just drop out here there are by the way lots of creases that you would see on the side profile there is like a sliding uh, slot that is given it is for these doors to slide onto using that and you can also see the rear window that sort of curves at the back and then there is this thin sort of glass that continues still behind and you get a smart keyless entry system so you just need the key in your hand and then you can open the door coming to the back actually look at how broad it is like it's super wide and then all of this space is actually converted into actual space inside because it's a minivan so you would just notice in a bit that you know how what sort of features it's got so continuing in the back now you get this big chrome plate out here like a strip out here with the honda badging and then there are these craft plates once i open the boot there are more craft plates that continue so as to avoid getting your bumper damaged and then these are led tail lights and then there's this wiper also there's this also a spoiler with the led brake light at the bottom the exhaust is under the bonnet so it's not actually visible there are parking sensors and a relatively uh, simple uh, rear bumper but just the best bit and that is the boot space now please welcome one of the biggest boot spaces and I am gonna be going inside because look at this it actually goes under the floor yes so it actually sinks inside in the back now when these uh, the the third row seats are up so you get about 1920 ish liter of boot space and when the third row seats are folded down there is a cool way to let me come out first uh, <laughs> so yeah so there is a cool way so this this slot that you see out here the seats actually go in them like look at this these seats actually fold down into that slot and which is why it gives you a relatively flatter sort of loading area and in this configuration you would get 2605 liters of boot space and also the second row seat is actually slidable so it's called the magic slide so when you slide them ahead you get 
these are also the seats second row seats are removable but that is a bit of a task if you want to remove but if you do manage to remove that you get literally flat area and approximately 4405 liters of boot space in the back now tell me one car that gives you or even an suv for a fact that gives you so much of space there's this cool feature so if you uh, if your car is out of fuel you still have a funnel so you still have to get your cherry can but this is a funnel so that because most of the times people tend to forget this but that's a cool feature that you know they've been given and it also just sits inside the car so it's always inside and not in your way so step inside and it's actually the inside where the honda odyssey outshines anything that you have ever seen even as a minivan because oh the quality of uh, the choice of material is pretty good i would say a few plastics here and there but it's still like very good for a minivan now you get soft touch plastics everywhere on the door cars look at how big the long the doors are and also this uh, sort of brushed aluminium but it's like a plastic trim which is made to look like brushed aluminium there are glossy plastics everywhere on the door cars on the steering even on the dashboard a few here and there at the bottom you would find normal plastic but otherwise the cabin feels pretty like a normal car and not like a mini van now in the dashboard you get like a screen which shows uh, different information like if your doors are open the fuel economy the trip information there are also various things like tire pressure if you want to see and all of those information that you can see in the center screen coming to the steering wheel the steering wheel is tilt and telescopic it's manually you have there's a lever that you have to unlock and then you can do all of that on your right side you would find adaptive cruise control and it's a very easy to use adaptive cruise control straightforward buttons marked with what they are supposed to do on the left side you get infotainment controls and the communication controls but it's a big leather covered steering wheel but it does not have any thumb support i wish it would have that so the honda odyssey comes with a normal sunroof the infotainment screen is such a happy change compared to the normal honda's uh, infotainment systems that you would find because this is a beautiful and it and it it's it's a 8 inch touch screen which has so many features but easy to use features so you have the navigation uh, system the navigation system is powered by garmin so that is uh, i mean it's pretty good for a, a, a minivan you know considering that and the screen has so much of clarity there's rear entertainment so you can switch the screen which is given in the back in the center there's fm so in terms of the connectivity you would get bluetooth you get uh, auxiliary port you get uh, usb port there is also android auto there is also apple carplay there are so many different ways with which you can connect the the device to this uh, infotainment system there is also trip information there is this one cool feature so you can keep an eye on the second and third row of seat from this feature called as the cabin watch so in the cabin watch you will actually see the feed out here the camera is mounted on top of the the second row about that there is a camera so you can observe so probably if you have like kids in your uh, seat in the back you can observe them from here without being distracted you know by by turning behind and watching them so that's a pretty cool feature or if your driver and and you you want your dri want uh, the driver to keep an eye then he can also do he or she can do that there's also this feature called as the cabin talk again cabin talk is something where people can hear your voice whatever you are trying to talk even to the third row seat this car is that long already i can hear myself i don't know if my microphones are uh, picking it up so even if you uh, put your headphones you can uh, listen to whatever announcement it's like a public announcement system a pa system inside your car which has three rows of seat but that's how long this car is anyways continuing with the other features um you get your normal settings where you can change everything from your sound system to your camera display vehicle settings connection so this car comes with 10 speaker music system and a subwoofer which is mounted at the back of the car now coming to the air conditioning controls again the air conditioning controls are straightforward buttons and everything is well laid out so there's also rear climate you can control using the this infotainment screen and also the front climate so you can actually use using the infotainment screen also the aircon controls or if you want someone 
someone like who likes to just use the buttons during the drive then there are buttons so it's a tri zone climate control system so the uh, driver the passenger and the rear passengers they have a separate air conditioning system that they can control using the control which has been mounted on the right side and at the bottom now you would see there is like a big space out here so there is no gear lever and you must be wondering where is the gear lever and the answer to that is right out here in the dashboard now the gear lever actually a consists of buttons out here so there is a park button reverse neutral and the drive or the sport button it takes a little while to understand or to get used to the fact that the the drive modes or to switch into the the driving mode it's out here and those are in the button form the seats are leather seats and they are broad and big and also these uh, seats are captain seats so you also have the support to put your hand on the side for the driver and the passenger and also in the back there are captain seats which i'll be showing you in a bit but these are ventilated seats the buttons are again in the dashboard out here straight forward so you can operate them so the driver seat is eight way adjustable and four way lumbar support which is adjustable while the passenger seat is only four way adjustable electronically now here's the best feature in this car because i find it pretty useful especially as a minivan so you see there are so many uh, storage spaces in this car so starting off from the door itself there is a cup holder there is also another side space there is also more space at the bottom you would see out here there is big space to put something i don't know whatever you can just put but if you are not going to use that there is like a drawer which comes out and it's also got partition and then if you don't want to use that or just put your stuff and it goes back in and then there are two cup holders out here in the uh, front two cup holders for the rear passenger and there is also a wireless charging port which has been given and there is this big storage at the uh, in the center armrest so you don't rest your arm actually but it's just like a storage which has been given and that is also pretty huge apart from the glove box even that is decent enough and also the same storage space that you saw on the driver side continues on the passenger side so this car has ample of storage space like it's it's even more than my house i don't know if it's good thing or not but yeah this car has so much of storage there's also a dvd blu ray player so that is for the rear passenger if they want to uh, see something on the screen which has been mounted for the rear passenger now in terms of the charging or power outlet you get one 120 watt power socket out here and there is one usb port in the center storage there are two usb ports in the back now if you sit in the honda or the ac you would just wish that you were the rear passenger because it's the facilities are so much even for the rear passenger starting off with the seat so the seats are leather seats and they are foldable in a ratio of 40s to 20s to 20 but both the seats on on either side of the center seat are pilot seats so you can just drop these uh, handrests and sort of enjoy but if you have a middle passenger then it's still a, a decent space for the middle passenger because the seats are flat but the the best seat in the house is by far both the seats in the center uh, but if you are not going to use the center seat there are three cup holders and some more storage space my god there is so much storage space in this car so the camera for the cabin view is mounted out here on the roof and coming to the screen now the screen is a 10.2 inch uh color display but this is more like a system where the driver's uh, dr uh entertainment system is separated but for the rear passengers from the second and third row onwards it's the separate speaker system that switches uh, this uh, screen into so you can uh, use it using the usb port or the hdmi port and there is also a remote control to control this screen so that is pretty handy and you can do everything from the this remote itself you can control the entire menu so the hdmi port is given out here in the center console at the bottom now because this is a front wheel drive car there is no transmission tunnel so the space is relatively flat in fact there is so much of leg room that i can stretch my legs and i still have so much of space and also the headroom is pretty good because the car is 
just going straight and it's not even sloping so you get a lot of headroom also and you get these blinders and again uh, normal plastic in the back but it's all right i mean because you still get the blinder and the air conditioning vents on both the frames on both the side of the car and also these big grab handles and the the way to open these doors is again using the buttons out here or this lever which has been given so rarely you would find that the third row of seat is actually usable by fully grown adults but in this odessi it is possible because even the third row of seat has almost that much of uh, you know leg space in fact the second row of seat has 40.1 inch of leg room this has 30 the third row of seat has 38.1 inch but it is quite visible because the seating position first of all is super comfortable it's not like i am sitting on the axle and then you know um, i'm actually raised up so there is nothing there's also enough of headroom and also there is quite a bit of leg room although these seats are pushed back so that i i can show you all the the third row of seat but all these seats are super comfortable also the, the the middle row of seat actually if someone's a little shorter or smaller then that is uh, fit for the third or the middle passenger but otherwise the regular chairs are super comfortable even the visibility outside is super great like because these windows are big and huge this car also comes with bluetooth headset for the middle row of uh, passengers so they can use that wireless headphones but if the rear passenger wants to use the headphones there are also ports given out here so you can easily plug it in and then use it so there are two cup holders on either side of the seats and also there are two ac vents in the back you also get blinders for the third row of seat i mean wow like this car for every row of seat everyone gets equal amount of features as you know any other passenger in the car and that is pretty cool so the honda odyssey packs a powerhouse under the bonnet so it comes with a 3.5 liter v6 iv tech engine which is a single overhead camshaft engine that produces 288 brake horsepower and 355 newton meters of torque and this engine is mated to a 10 speed automatic gearbox but it also comes with flappy cap pedal gearbox but good luck if you are going to use the flappy pedal gearbox but the overall uh, engine response is pretty smooth i mean considering as it's a family suv this is a very good package that you get and it's a long cruiser so considering that this is a very decent amount of engine gearbox combination it's a front wheel drive and the efficiency that you get from the engine is anywhere between seven to eight kilometers on a full tank you would get 500 kilometers of range 500 to 550 depending on how how, how you drive but coming to the steering wheel now the steering is an electronic steering but its turning radius is so small and surprising for a family van and then i get that you know family vans are supposed to be a little bit nippy because they have to maneuver around smaller areas so they have to have that you know uh, smaller turning radius and which is why this has a very small turning radius and that is pretty good but it's got a little bit of softness to the steering like i cannot feel or get any feedback of the road surface and also it's speed sensitive so higher the speed it becomes uh, a bit lighter but also it becomes much more sensitive i found because a little input into the steering and then it just moves around a lot you know but otherwise it's it's a manageable steering the suspensions are on the softer side and again because it's a family van so it's it it's got to have the softer setup but again the roll is kept in check but also softer suspension gives a very sublime and you know smooth and comfortable ride although also this these seats make the journey so comfortable like you know you can literally feel no bumps inside the cabin and coming to the nvh levels the nvh levels are kept uh, in check thanks to the acoustic glass which has been used all around in the car and as a result of that the noise levels are bare minimum like it is such a soundproof cabin uh, even like cruising at higher speeds at around you know 100 plus or 120 it's still a very quiet place to be in so overall it, it almost always feels like a sedan even though you are driving a family suv uh, uh, a family sort of mini van but it still feels like a sedan and also 
the car over i don't know i don't feel the length of it while driving it somehow feels very easy to maneuver around so i think the overall uh, mini van characteristics are pretty good on this one particular because honda odyssey has improved a lot over the time trust me on that every generation it has improved and this is by far the best that uh, you know you can have coming to the brakes so the brake pedal is a little bit on the spongy side so there is a lot of travel before eventually the braking action happens so you have to really get used to the the pedal travel so coming to the safety systems the honda odyssey is packed with the safety systems and to start off with you get 12 airbags 12 i'm going to be showing you all exactly where these airbags are so you get two front airbags for the driver and the passenger two side airbags again for the driver and the passenger six curtain airbags two knee airbags for the driver and the passenger so the front passengers have so many safety systems and not just that the curtain airbags extend all the way till the third row so like it is packed with so many airbags you also get the tire pressure monitoring system you also get the ebd the electronic brake distribution your abs there is also hill hold assist there is also a single camera reversing system and it's a pretty good system but it's also got multi-angle views that you can switch to while reversing so that's a pretty uh, neat feature especially for a minivan the other safety features also include the child isofix points and the child isofix points are in the second row of seat and also in the third row of seat so you get everywhere child isofix points and in every seat that is pretty cool and there are so many other uh, vehicle stability there's agile stability control there are so many other stability systems that always keep the car uh, you know balanced and you know always in your control so that is like an assuring thing when you buy a family van because this van is going to be used most of the times to ferry around people and also to go in uh, with your family on longer journeys so to conclude let me tell you this as we grow as adults so does our needs grow and this honda odyssey fits perfectly into that because it's a perfect family car also not even that the honda odyssey is a car that is so able and so useful and it doesn't really shout about you know its capabilities uh, or or the fact that you know it can do so much it can ferry uh, people in comfort it does nothing of that it's a very humble car that you can just get in drive every day your family is going to be super happy during longer cruise so i find it really strange that you know the suvs are sometimes so not worth it compared to a minivan because let's be honest how many times are you going to take an suv uh, you know doing the suv ish stuff so not many many times that you are going to do but a family van you are going to be driving on a longer journeys probably every weekend with your family the honda odyssey is more bang for your buck car for sure anyways that is pretty much it for this video give it a thumbs up if you like this video and if you want to subscribe to my channel then click here and if you want to watch more videos then click here i shall see you in the next video bye bye and take care